Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, it's pretty late. It's 10.38, 10.40, almost. Um, I just got home from school, which is why I look really bad. My nose looks weird. My forehead and hair look weird. Um, my lipstick looks weird. But that's okay. And that's why I have dye on my wrist. But, um, because I go to beauty school. But, um, I just want to talk to you guys about something that happened not that long ago, about 9.30ish to me. So, yeah. Um, so I get out of my school at 9.30. And I walk out, get in my car with my grandmother, and I get, I'm starting to go home. And I, I live in Bakersfield, by the way, so this is kind of detrimental to the story. Here in town, there's a bowling alley called Westchester Lanes, and they have really good chips, fish and chips kind of there. I don't eat fish, but um, their fries are bombastic. They're so good. And um, so we're passing by, and... It's on 31st Street, I think. Yeah, 31st Street. Um, closer to, like, the John's Burgers and the Carl's Jr. on the corner. Like, pretty close to the DMV. And we start to drive around the corner. And I see a man. A man is laying out in front of the uh, the bowling alley on the, on the cement. And it looks like he, um, he had so much garbage just spewed around him um his belongings clothes um uh a cart was across the street that looked like it was it belonged to him there's a plastic a uh, black plastic bag across the street that looked like it was probably his as well <coughs> so anyway it looked and he was just laying on the sidewalk on his side, shirtless, and he wasn't moving, and it looked like he was dead, almost. It looked like he had been, like, that he had died or something. So, we're waiting for the cops to, I call the cops, and I'm waiting for the cops, and he's moving around and stuff, so I knew he wasn't dead. Um, he had started, like, moving around and, like, moaning a bit when I called the cops, and they were like, okay, we will send someone there, and... We were waiting there for 15 minutes, and then I was like, well, where are the cops? And then I called, um, I didn't call, I texted my friend, and I told him about it, because my friend's a lawyer, and I told him about it, and he was like, okay, um, what's he doing? How long has he been there? I'm like, he's just passed out, and he looks, and he looks like he's dead, and then he said, well, did you, um, I would just wait or I would just wait for the cops to show up. And if he's, like, still unconscious or anything, you could throw a, a, you could throw ice water on him. And this is all on texting and walking to into Westchester Lanes, into the main entryway. And as we pass him by, this, and as, mind you, he's, like, rolling around, moaning, grunting, like, saying, like, oh, shit, and cursing at everything, or in thin air, as he's, like, passed out, as I go into, um, Westchester Lanes, I notice, I notice that he has a, it looks like a steak knife, laying right next to him in the road, like, one of those, um, like, that you get out of, like, a knife block that's at your house, sort of a thing, and it's laying next to him on the sidewalk next to his head. And it's like it's relatively close for him to grab if um, if he felt threatened. So that scared me. And then not like two feet away from him were glass like bottles. Like, you know, in like the old Western movies where like someone will take the glass bottle and then they'll break it. And then they'll use like the, like the, the nozzle of the glass bottle as handle and they'll use it to like attack someone it was that kind of situation there um and he was moving around it looked like he was waking up and so we get inside and I tell the um one of the workers says hi can I help you and I'm like yeah um who called the cops on this man has anybody tried getting a hold of anybody and they were like we called the cops at 8 30 and before he passed out he was acting really erratic really weird really schizo um just scaring everybody and I and the woman who I was talking to she's like yeah I'm pregnant and I am I don't want to go out there by myself because I'm afraid 
that, well, I'm not allowed to go out there by myself anyway, but I'm afraid that if I do go out there by myself, he will attack me or anything. And I, and she was like, I know that there's guys here that are still working here, but it's still terrifying. And um, I had told my friend that, that he had a knife next to him and that he had broken glass around him. And he goes, okay, don't throw, don't throw cold water on him because that's a really bad idea. And, um, do you want me to come down there? All this stuff. And I'm like, no, I'm calling the cops. So I called the cops again. And, um, I told the lady who I was talking to, this was also the fourth phone call to the cops on this man because the people inside called like two times. I called once and then I called again. Um, and I told her, look, I called a little while ago about this man laying out in front of Westchester Lanes. Um, and as we were walking into Westchester Lanes, I noticed that he has a knife and he has a broken glass, broken glass bottles that he could use as weapons and that he was acting erratic and, um, weird and he was scaring everybody. And I'm afraid that if he wakes up that he may become violent or belligerent and try and hurt somebody or do something. And she was like, okay, we will send um, police out there as soon as we can. Mind you, we had told, the, we have the police, the blah, 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 the 911 lady had said, we will, we will send police out there right now. We'll send police out there right now. Every, like every time someone calls for this guy and it, we were there from, we got there. We called, I called the police at nine thirty five. <coughs> the first phone call was at eight and then I called the police again at 10 o'clock and they didn't get there till like 10 five. And I was like, I knew immediately as soon as I called the cops and said he has a knife or a weapon or something like that made it seem like he was a danger that they would immediately show up because they, it was almost like immediate. I was just about to text my friend, like, if you want to come down here, you can come down here because he act he's like moving around being really weird. This homeless man is being really weird. And, um, yeah, it was, it was insane. So when the cops got there, they kicked all the weapons away and, um, put on gloves and were like, yeah, we'll take him to prison right now. Not prison. We'll just take him to jail for now. And yeah, it's just, I know probably none of that made sense because I'm really just rambling right now, but it just kind of sucked that, um, that these people were, were calling the police, um, worried for their safety. And I was calling the police worried for the man's safety because when you're drunk, um, you can vomit and you can choke on your own vomit and you could die, you can get alcohol poisoning, all sorts of things. And I was worried for this guy's safety and the people inside the building were worried for their own safety. And, you know, there's just people passing by, rubbernecking, looking at this man who's passed out, not stopping or doing anything, not calling the cops. I'm pretty sure if like a ton of people called the cops, like more people stopped and called the police, that they would have come really quick and been like, okay, we'll take care of the situation right now all sorts of stuff, but no, it didn't happen, nobody, nobody stopped to call the cops, there were f two people, that's, like, three people that stopped to call the cops, me and two people that worked inside the building, and it's just insane, it is so insane, and it's so mind-boggling to me, also that it took an hour and a half for cops to show up, and it took, and it, they probably would never have shown up, they probably would have left that man to lay there, unless I would have called, unless I'd called and said that he had a weapon, you know, I, I, it just sucks, so, yeah, that's my rant for the night, I haven't ranted, I haven't filmed in a long time, sorry about that, well, I filmed, I just haven't edited, so yeah, I'm sorry about that, this video is kind of confusing and ranty, and, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later, I don't know, um, yeah, Call the cops. Be a good Samaritan and help people. Just be safe, okay? That's my little tip for the night. Okay? Talk to you guys later. Bye.